very good morning so today we are going to practice day 7 so keep your mat ready try not to drink lot of water in between and I'm sure you're ready for the session let's get started so let's start the session with few deep breath in breath out so that you are mentally and physically prepared for the session so come to center this is what we do every day before we start the session first prepare yourself drop your shoulders down eyes closed Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Now slowly open your eyes. So let's start with a little bit of a neck rotation. So drop your neck to the right side. Feel the stretch here. Center and to the left. Center, right, center, left, center, right, one more time, center, left, and come back to center. Drop your neck back and neck forward. Leave your neck loose when you drop it down or back, so feel the stretch. Down, back, down, come back to center. Now take your right hand forward. From the left hand, try to cross your elbow from the other elbow. Pull your hand inside. So for example, right hand here, left hand crosses, pull it. You're going to turn around and see the right side. Feel the good stretch in your shoulder. Close your eyes. A long breathe in, long breathe out. And stay here for next five counts with me. Five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come back to center. Same thing the other side. Lift your left hand forward. From the right hand, try to keep it tight and keep moving the direction pull and turn your head out close your eyes and hold here for five counts five four three two and one slowly come back to center so once you reach here Take your hands forward, a wrist rotation. These are basic warm-ups and make sure that you do them before any of your practices. We should never underestimate any practice, especially in your ankle or in your, uh, in your wrist. Just do them four to five times, just give some rotations, that's it. Drop your hand down. Keep your hands on the waist. Let's give a stomach rotation now. Creating a big circle with the help of your tummy. Move nicely, five times clockwise, five times anti-clockwise. Opposite side. Two more times. Inhale, exhale. One more time and center. So now from here, now come to the one corner of your mat. Suppose if you are at the right side, stand on your knee. So from here we are trying to give a little bit of a more stretch to the hamstring and your spine. So from here keep your left leg pointing outside. Okay. Keep your back, uh, uh, this knee straight and try to drop your both the hands forward in front of the knee. Now, keep your spine straight. Toe can be facing forward or outside. So, based on your comfort zone, you can place it. When your right knee is bent, you are going to move your right hand towards the left side. So, just watch me once. Inhale up. Exhale, go down. Touch your ankle and come back. That's it. You just have to do this. 10 times right side as well as 10 times left side so let's start one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twen
exhale two three four five six keep moving seven if you find it too hard please do this four or five counts eight nine do not bend your front uh, left hand when you try to take your other hand up and ten center so when you move your right hand outside make sure that your left elbow stays straight only when you go down to create some more space you're going to bend your elbow and keep your one hand firm on the floor okay now slowly come back to center we're going to take some quick break for 5 to 10 seconds just to relax ourselves so that we can practice the other side with more energy now slowly shift to the opposite side we are going to do everything same but in the other side now keep your hands forward first and then extend your right leg outside breathe in breathe out now inhale hand goes up exhale try to give a stretch 2 3 Four, five, six, eight. Just two more. If you can, please push it to two more counts. Nine and one more. and come back to center now just come back to center keep your spine straight breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out relax your mind and your body now from here drop your right hand especially the only the fingers of your hand on the floor lift your left hand up and from here slowly drop your palm completely down and give a mild stretch do not bend your elbow keep your elbow straight and just try to push your side out center other side once the hand goes up when you are ready to bend then you drop your palm down nice stretch exhale drop it down inhale and exhale drop it down exhale drop it down one more time exhale drop it down now from here slowly come to center where you keep your both the legs straight forward Okay so yesterday we tried chakki chalan today we're going to try noka chalan so noka chalan is very easy very similar to chakki chalan it's just that you have to keep your legs straight imagine you are it's like you're rowing the boat so all you have to do is try to go really slow try to make sure that you don't really lose the balance and fall down so from here once you feel like you're going back your stomach is engaged and you're feeling in your core muscles and you again move forward so just watch me once practicing and then we can practice together from here exhale when you bend forward and when you go back you going to hold yourself you're going to stop yourself with the help of your stomach okay and the same thing we're going to practice down to up again you're going to go back try to hold yourself here as close as possible you can go the more you get closer to the floor the more you actually engage your core but as a beginner just practice whatever works well for you when you practice regularly it will get better now let's start 10 counts of clockwise and 10 counts of anti clockwise 
Inhale and as you exhale, bend forward. Inhale, go back. See, stop yourself here. Two, exhale. Stop yourself here. Three. Stop. Four. Five. Try not to go faster than me. You can slow it down if you want. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Come to center. Once you're done with ten counts, just drop your hands down. Keep your spine straight, relax your head and try to relax your both the legs and try not to hold your ankle and toe straight. Release them and close your eyes. Focus on the whole body. Now once you feel better, once you feel like you can continue, now let's try the same thing opposite side. So first we went up and then down. This time we're going to go down and then going to come up. So let's try next 10 counts. Exhale down. Inhale, go back. Try to keep your spine straight here. It's okay if it is slightly uh, bent or uh, slightly rounded also. Keep your stomach engaged and then exhale down. Two. Exhale. Inhale, three. Exhale. Inhale, four. Exhale. Five, exhale, six, exhale, seven, exhale, eight, exhale, nine, exhale, 10, exhale, inhale and then relax, keep your spine straight, just breathe in, breathe out, now from here slowly come to center, Fold your both the legs inside into Sukhasan. Lengthen your spine. Now keep your right hand on the left knee. Left hand goes slightly behind the spine. Now from here try to lift your spine up. Inhale and as you exhale you push your knee outside and try to look back. Feel the twist in your spine. Come back to center. Let's try the same thing other side. Inhale. Exhale, keep your one hand back, give a twist. One more time. Exhale. Come back to center, other side. Come back to center. So now, from here, we're gonna come to Parvatasana again. Try to lift your hip up, try dropping your heels down, feel the stretch. Now from here, try to lift your one leg up, lift your right leg up, keep your knee straight and then get your leg next to the palm outside. If it is here, use your hand, get it outside next to the palm outside, drop your knee down. Give a stretch to hip joint, look up, inhale. Exhale, lift your knee up and you're going to lift your leg all the way up. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Once again, forward, knee down. 
look up, give a stretch to the neck. Inhale, exhale. Third one, lift your leg up, inhale. If your leg is not going higher, that's okay. You just have to practice how much ever you can. Forward. Inhale. Exhale. Fourth one. Leg forward. Hold for a second. The last one. Lift your leg up. And get it forward. Stay there. Breathe in. Breathe out. Take your leg back. Come to child posture. Now, let's try the same thing the other side. In our previous session, we tried keeping our leg in between both the palms. So here, now we are trying to work a little bit on the hip joint more deeper. So we are keeping the foot next to the palm outside. So don't get confused. Now, inhale up. Let's try the same thing other side. Leg up. Exhale forward. Drop your knee down. Look up. Lift your knee up. Through Parvatasan, stretch your leg up. Forward. Third one. Inhale. Exhale. Two more to go. Try to complete because we're taking enough rest in between. Four. Exhale forward and hold. And the last one. Inhale up. Exhale forward and hold. Leg back, Parvatasan. Now from here, get your right leg outside and left leg outside. Try to drop your hip down. Try to lengthen your spine. Try to push your both the knee out with the help of your elbow. And lift your spine all the way up. Inhale and exhale, hold. Close your eyes, just observe the body, state of your body right now, especially your hip joint and your spine. With a long breathe in, long breathe out. Three, two, one. Slowly drop your palm down. Take your leg back. Drop your knee down. Come to a child posture. Have a quick break here. Just breathe in, breathe out. Try to relax your whole body here for a second. From here, let's prepare ourselves to practice pigeon posture. So from here, lift your chest up. Take your both the knee off the mat. Now, get your right knee in between both the palm. So what happens generally, you wouldn't know where to keep your heel. So sometimes you just end up keeping the heel just below the thigh. So what you need to do here, from here, make sure that your back knee is lifted up. There is a space and move your heel out. Okay, your heel is not below the thigh, it is out of the thigh. And then try to keep your hip down on the floor as much as possible. First, keep your both the hands slightly behind the knee and keep your spine straight, which gives you quite a good stretch in your spine. Toe pointing outside, close your eyes.
Breathe in, breathe out for three counts. Three, two, one. Now slowly drop your both the hands down. Interlock your fingers, drop your head down. Stay there. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come back to center. The most common mistake what people do here, they try to sit here in the side. This is wrong because you wouldn't feel any stretch here. So try always to be in center. Now let's try the same thing the other side. Lift your one leg back. Take your another knee forward. Try to keep your heel out. See, take your back, heel, back knee as far as possible. And then take your hands back. Give a stretch in the spine hold. Slowly drop your head, hands down and drop your head down. Stay here for five counts. Five, four, three, two and one. Slowly come up. Come back to center. Take your leg back. Come to a child posture. Extend your hands, drop your head down. Slowly come back to center. Be in either Vajrasan or Sukhasan. Keep your spine straight. Keep your both the hands down on the thighs. Both the hands in Chin Mudra. Close your eyes. Now take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Close your right nostril, inhale from the left. Exhale from the right. Inhale from the right. Exhale from the left. Repeat it few more times. Try to breathe peacefully without creating any sound. Slow and a deep breath in, breath out. Keep your eyes closed, drop your hands down in Chin Mudra, both the hands. Now just try to focus on the way you're breathing. Have a gentle smile on your face, release all the stress and the tiredness with each time you breathe out. Relax your body, relax your mind. Try to observe the state of your mind. See what kind of a thoughts are you getting right now. Slowly rub your both the palms. Make it warm. Drop it on your eyes. Slowly open your eyes and look into your palm. Thank you so much.